guys what's up welcome back to my channel in today's video i am going to be showing you all how to create this look right here i am recreating this face melting makeup i came across this picture on google when i was searching for halloween images which i am definitely intrigued don't worry i'll put it on the screen somewhere here so i was like so impressed by this makeup look i don't know how people are so creative i am literally copying them in case you want your face to look like this better be prepared for your hands to look like this i do not really know who is the artist but put the link down below follow her she is amazing i was shooting a video at 3 o'clock at night um yes okay that is because this is the only free time i got and i was like it's okay i can sacrifice a little bit of sleep to make a video and that too it's halloween i haven't used anything fancy like a halloween makeup kit or something like face paint this is super simple and i promise you all you're gonna have fun creating this look and yeah this was my first try and yes my hand is still sprained but then i managed to do the makeup look this was the best i could do with the sprained hand this makeup look took me more than one hour maybe one and a half to two hours to film i don't know how i'm gonna edit it but i'm gonna do it now my hand is like literally hurting so bad if you all want to know how to get this look let's just get right into the video but before that please don't forget to subscribe to my channel at least for my hand and hit the bell icon so that you will be notified whenever i upload a video with that let's get right into the video so so the makeup look i am creating today is this makeup look right here this is like a makeup melt and i'm not sure who who created this makeup look but if i find it i'll definitely put it down below this is the makeup i don't know how this is going to turn out because uh yeah, this is way too out of my comfort zone but we are gonna try this today so in case you're like why am i whispering that's because the time is 2 a.m and everyone's sleeping and i was like it's halloween i have to shoot a video so here i am doing that so without any further ado let's start makeup the first thing i'm going to be doing is moisturizing my skin and i'm using this euthermal avene moisturizer just a little bit this is like super lightweight and i think a moisturizer is a must for your makeup i love how this feels on my skin just hydrates it Next, I'm going to prime my skin and I'm using this Insight Primer. I think I need a little, like just a little bit of color correction because dark circles. So I'm going to be using this LA Girl Pro Conceal uh, color corrector in the shade Orange. So I'm going to be very careful while using this because flashback. Okay, so I'm gonna take my ring finger and blend this out. End of flashback. Blend, 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 Okay, since I'm shooting a video any which ways, why not make a reel? So, I'll be back in a minute. While I blend this, are there any Harry Potter fans out there? I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one who acts like I'm 14. Any of y'all watching this video 14? Comment down below and let me know. As far as I know, most of my analytics show people above the age of 18. Like me. I'm old. I'm old. Any which way is moving on to the next step. I am gonna take my foundation and for my foundation I'm gonna be using this Maybelline Fit Me foundation. 
poreless matte foundation and I'm just gonna take a little on the back of my hand oops hey have you ever seen that water frothing makeup challenge I mean foundation frothing makeup challenge I should definitely try because I haven't tried any trends in a very long time so blend, blend, blend. Let's get to the good part. Personally, I think that this foundation is a little too light for my skin. Be precise, one shade lighter than my skin tone, which is why I mix it up with my Sephora foundation, which is like one shade darker than my skin tone. Next, I'm just gonna be setting my face. It's fine, it doesn't have to be perfect because it's Halloween. Taking my Maybelline setting powder and just setting. I do not wanna be baking today. Because my skin feels extremely, extremely dry for some reason. Oh, did I put my concealer? I forgot my concealer, but hey, let's continue. Next, I'm gonna be grabbing my LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Yellow. Blend this out because this acts as, a, as an eyeshadow primer. Setting powder again, and I'm just gonna set my face. I hope I'm not too loud because I know I might be a little soft on camera but it's 3 o'clock. The eye look I'm going to go very subtle. I'm gonna be creating a very subtle look. Maybe orangish, brownish, like a foil makeup look. Hey, I'm not finding anything today. Why? Ooh, this is an interesting color. Just in case I forgot to show y'all, I have used this shade from this palette, which I don't know where I got this palette from, but any which ways. Lightly gonna apply some eyeshadow. Yeah, that was from London. I love palettes like those, even the one that I bought in Europe, in Germany. Like, so inexpensive, like five, six euros, which is less than 500 bucks. And the palette is amazing. Now, I'm gonna be taking this. Actually, I'm just gonna take my ring finger and apply it because it's easier and I don't wanna waste time. Ooh, I love the shade. It's not a gold, it's not a silver, it's like a monochromatic. Um, am I using the right term? I don't know. Ooh, I don't know what the shade is, but it's amazing. If I find the palette somewhere online, I'm definitely gonna link it down below. I have just done my eyeliner off camera and I think it's spreading a little because I opened my eyes. Ugh, literally not finding anything today. So I am going to be taking my black eyebrow pencil. This is what I'm going to be using on my entire face. Just drawing patterns. My eyebrows are going to look like a disaster because one, I've got very thick eyebrows naturally. I'm not allowed to use this hand guys, but I'm still doing makeup. I'm back and this is how my eyebrows look. A complete disaster. It's moving on to the next, I'm gonna be doing my eyes. So. You know what? There's a guest on my channel. Guess who? Hey guys, it's me, Afreen from the future, aka voice of afreen so basically i i have just gone ahead and drawn some tear ducts basically i'm just extending my eye i have a feeling this is gonna be a disaster but let's do it it's gonna be fun this eyebrow pencil has dried out completely dried and then out. i'm gonna be taking this pink shade and applying it all over just to highlight that fleshy area of the eye which is pink I dropped my brush guys after which I'm just gonna take a white eyeliner and start applying it inside this duct uh, I'm not going too close to my eye because I bought this two years ago and I think it might have expired I'm not sure it looks fine though but I don't want to take the risk 
after which i'm gonna highlight the outer area with some blacks and browns also we need details so i'm just gonna apply some draw some eyelashes as if my whole okay, eye so has melted out here is i'm just gonna take a little bit of eyeshadow and i'm just creating little um eyelashes so that it looks more realistic and natural until it looks realistic and natural as if my entire eye has melted out next i'm gonna draw an extended eyeball and apply some eyeliner inside that as if my eyeball has melted and now i'm gonna take this concealer and uh, try to shade it a little so that it looks like my skin has been pulled down if that makes sense and i'm just gonna do the same on my eyebrow as if my eyebrows coming down and giving it a more realistic effect at this point i forgot i was supposed to follow the picture guys and i was just doing whatever i wanted to so this is not the exact thing that was there in the picture okay yeah this looks disgusting but we are just gonna act as if our whole nose has melted down so i'm just gonna be highlighting the nostrils the hollows of the nostrils using black and then i'm gonna take my concealer and highlight my nose as if it's dripping this, this sounds disgusting your whole face is melting and dripping basically and then i'm gonna take my lip liner and draw these amazing drips over there and yes i did break a little bit of that lip liner after which i'm gonna be taking this lipstick i'm not sure about the shade but it is from masaba by nika so i'm just gonna apply that and use black eyeliner to create that hollow as if my entire lip has melted out and then i've just highlighted it using a reddish pink and then using my concealer to give it a little bit of shade after that i'm just gonna take my eyebrow pencil and create these random drips and after that i have taken a charcoal mask and i have applied it i actually expected it to be a little black but it's a little gray but that's okay you can use something black if you have i've highlighted my face with some concealer to create that fold effect and then shaded it with some brown to get more dimension i've also applied a little bit of the charcoal mask on my neck but feel free to paint it if you wish well that is it for this video guys i really hope you all enjoyed watching this video and if you all did you know what to do please don't forget to like share comment and subscribe to my channel i'll see you all super soon with another one until then bye